Good day, mate. Fancy a few kidneys in the bush? <laughs> Here's a camera in a second. Scanning. That's oh, alright. Do a number trying to ring me. Hello. One second. No harm in asking, just in case they Hello. Were. Hello. We do apologise for this, guys. Just got two private numbers. That wasn't time to kill me. That's nice, isn't it? That's just that's wrong. People doing that, John. What? That's not right. People doing that. We must the have some... number. Tell them they're going to kill me. <laughs> I'll change the number tomorrow on that phone. Come and kill me now, bastards, if you're watching. So uh, Mods, can you deal with Andrew, please, that's on the page? I'm going to say this one more time, yeah? But it's not a bad line tonight. I have never, ever claimed to be a soldier. Which has been said many yeah, yeah. times. I was in Afghanistan for CP. Use your fucking brains. Research CP as well. My background, I'm a veteran British soldier with 18 years service. Left in 2004 to begin a second career in the private security industry, both delivering training and operating in places like Iraq, where I was for seven years, uh, ran probably around 800 missions there. I'm now working out of Libya, um, delivering the same kind of training and uh, operating as well as a security manager. I've looked after a lot of famous people, um, including Princess Diana, Alex Salmond, some of the uh, some of the superstars. I run the Fret course, level three, the Epos level four, and the Myra course. Background is ex-army, 20 years. Uh, the last four years of that, I was an uh, instructor at the SEER school, teaching combat search and rescue, resistance interrogation, and kidnap and ransom. I have over 25 years of uh, high-speed and diplomatic driving, including time with the Scottish Government and Strathclyde Police Service. I have 18 years military, the first half of that with the Royal Scots Local Infantry Regiment, the second half with the UK Special Forces, the SES. The guys I used to work with on the Maritime, um, they are now on the circuit, CP circuit, and then they contacted me and said, get on the Horizon course, it's the best, it's the best package out there. And this one was often the best value for money, um, with the best qualifications out, not very many give you the multitude of instructors. And I choose them because I think they are one of the best in the industry for training. I got in contact with a Swedish security firm and uh, they told me this is where they want me to go for my close protection and my, my medical training because uh, according to them this, this is uh, the best place to be. My favourite bit of the course was doing the surveillance side following around um, Colin, um, trying to track him and not lose him and things like that. I really enjoyed that side of things. The, the learning curve was really steep for me, really difficult, but with the, the instruction you get on the course and everything you get with the team that's around you, you know, everything's great, everything helps each other out. I recommend it to anybody who comes here, you learn all kind of stuff and you know, even people who want to do the medical courses just, you can come here and learn a lot of things because they have very good instructors and they, they know how to teach it to make you learn it to you know to when you leave the course actually have something you know that you, you left with. I found it amazing. Uh, the instructors are really good. Uh, they have a lot of experience in different fields uh, and uh, all together they really put uh, down a, a A team of, of instructors to, to teach us their various parts of uh, our close protection work. Why is it still on? I've just had a, someone ring me and told me they're going to kill me. Um, if you give me your phone. Yeah. Now. One sec. I'll ring. Yeah, carry on. Carry on. I'll ring them and they can pop the thing for it. Oh, it's pretty. All sorted. Don't worry. Just idiots. Yeah, uh, I've known no silly people's lives yesterday, guys. They claim that I made out of a soldier in Afghanistan. I've never claimed that. I was on CP in Afghanistan, so they called me Walter Mitty. It's just lies again, isn't it? None of you guys have ever heard me say I was a soldier, have you? So. You've met soldiers out in there. Well, I worked with soldiers, yeah. but I was a fucking CP. Didn't? Everyone knows this, I don't have to explain yeah. that. It's just they've gone around saying there's loads of people and now loads of groups are attacking me, so. You'll behind, Spirit. Just change my phone number tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>
Come on, I want to know who's behind who. I'm sat outside location now, we'll keeping an eye on it with the boys. The girls are inside investigating. We've had some crap tonight. Um, so it turns out that after yesterday's live streams, there was a, an accusation made about me. Someone had made a mistake and said that John was in the army. Never claimed to be. I was a civilian contractor when I worked out in the Middle East. And um, basically, the, that hate, hate group that have always been giving us crap. Some of them got hold of that information and took it to what's called a Walter Mitty group. A Walter Mitty group is a group that goes after people who claim that they've like fought in the wars and they're veterans and that, and they give them shit. So they fed them this information. And uh, so my mobile phone's just been ringing and I got death threats. Now there's only a few people that's got my number. Um, live on air, they told me they were gonna kill me. And then uh, we're getting all these trolls popping in like really trying to attack me now it's all down to the fact that they've been fed the wrong information uh, we are contacting the admin of that group uh, with the police reference number because it is abuse when it's not needed um, most people that watch me know I would never have claimed to have been in the British Army I am uh, I was a civilian contractor um, so it's, it's quite easy to kind of um, very tough yeah, it's it's quite easy to kind of um, look at when they've been giving false information. Uh, whether this group do a good job or not, I don't know. Uh, I've not looked into it enough. I just know that while we're live on air, we're getting shit and hassle. Um, we're having to get more security in place now because of the death threats. And this has all happened because of some of the incorrect information that's been given. Um, now, obviously, the police are aware of this. Uh, the police are aware of a direct lie that was told yesterday that started it as well. So, I just don't think it's fair. People, uh, if people want to take us down, at least try and do it with accurate information rather than fabricated information that is just total, absolute nonsense. Um, all we do is we come out and offer free entertainment to people who wouldn't usually be able to access uh, social activities you know we we we, we uh, give for we kind of give entertainment to people who don't have anything else to watch or or don't have access to kind of anyone else to talk to and we supply a uh, a channel that's friendly and everyone gets on with each other all so we can kind of become a big family and so because of this we've been quite successful and grown very big and because of this we're getting attacked um now, certain people have their issues, that's fine. That was all, that happened all day yesterday. But when the correct information's been given, and as a consequence, we're now getting abuse and attacks for it. I will say for those few people that have got my phone number, I'll be changing it in the morning. It's not an issue. We've got like four phones, numbers each, me and Jojo. We're live streamers, we have to have several SIM cards. So I'll just cancel one and carry on with one of the others. Um, but I want to make it clear, under no circumstances, and I've said this so many times, have I ever, ever claimed to work for the British Army, or any army, okay? I was in the Middle East as a civilian contractor. That is it, okay? These people need to get that information into the said. To the hate group, I hope you're ashamed of yourself because you've, you've literally had to use false information to get other people to troll us. But at least go on accurate information because you're making yourself look absolutely foolish. So I'm going to get back to doing my job now. Um, to the ones that did send trolls along, thank you because our numbers are good and I'm getting paid more for it. So thank you. Uh, but seriously, get a life and re-educate yourself on what somebody claims to do for a living or what they don't claim. Yeah, again, I have never worked for or worked with, or sorry, I have worked with them, but I never worked for the army in any shape or form. I was a civilian contractor, okay? So I'm gonna leave it there. 
Thank you to our true followers for your constant support. Love you all. Um, this isn't going to affect what we do. We're still going to continue. Um, I did leave my phone on intentionally because there are family circumstances that require me to have to. Um, so maybe some people may say, just turn your phone off while you're ghost hunting. I can't. I haven't got that luxury to do that. So anyway, I'll leave it there.